The city of Austin cleared its final major hurdle in getting a labor contract signed with the EMS union. It means more money for EMS. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Britt Moreno. I'm Daniel Money, and today union members voted in favor of this new contract. KXN's Grace Reader has reaction as this comes at a time when recruitment for EMS has been a challenge nationwide. Two of three City of Austin first responder unions likely to have new labor contracts by the end of the week. An arbitrator handed down a new contract to the fire union last week. Now, the EMS union says its members have voted in favor of their new contract with the city. They did vote overwhelmingly in favor of it, about 93% of the vote and 65% of our members voting. It will go to council on Thursday for city council to vote as well. The contract includes an overall pay increase for current employees of 4% to start and a bump in base pay. Two years ago, our medics were starting at $19 an hour, 56 cents. Um, and this year, our brand new medics that start after October will see starting wages of $24 an hour, 24 cents. In a statement before the union vote, the city of Austin said it hopes that bump in starting pay will help with recruitment. According to the president of the Texas EMS Alliance, recruitment is a problem nationwide. If you are a nationally registered EMT and certainly a paramedic, you can work anywhere you want because there is such a high demand for those folks. Moving forward, the EMS union said it's still working with the city and the state on other improvements, including longer parental leave and earlier retirement. We did create a retirement attainability committee um, because we really want to think about how our medics can retire, um, especially when you look at the other public safety agencies um, where their members can retire at 25 years of service and our members have to do at least 30 years. Grace Reader, KXAN News. The new EMS contract also includes changes to promotions and some disciplinary rules. The contract aims to lure new medics. And going in depth, the way EMS departments are run is very different from city to city. The National EMS Management Association told us there's really no standard because it's dependent on factors like population and available hospital systems. In Dallas and Houston, for example, they say EMS is run through the fire department, but other cities have third-party systems like Austin. That includes Boston, Tallahassee, and Raleigh, North Carolina. We like to say when you've seen, when you've seen one EMS system in Texas, you've seen one EMS system because it is very different. Every community builds an EMS system based on its needs and its available resources. And in a statement, Interim Assistant City Manager Bruce Mills echoed that sentiment. He also said because EMS focuses on medical, they can provide programs that otherwise wouldn't be available. As we mentioned, the City Manager's Office announced Austin Fire's arbitration panel issued its final award between the city and the Austin Firefighters Association. Because it went to arbitration, no extra approval by the City Council or union needs to happen. The previous contract expired roughly a year ago. This new contract runs through September of 2025. All the details at KXAN.com.